Hi everyone, I got some requests to show you my card shares and so I did make a few Mother's Day cards for the month of April, uh, May, I'm sorry, and you'll also be seeing primarily Father's Day and graduation, but I do make, you know, different occasions as well. Um, but I'm going to show you the three Mother's Day cards that I made in the beginning of May, um, just because I was able to make a few more before uh, Mother's Day rolled around. So this one I made using Heartfelt Creations, their Petunia, la their Petunia line, I'm sorry. Um, and I inked all the flowers with pink and purple ink. It's really showing up as purple, but I did use pink on the edges. And then the leaves are made with new sprout. And then I put some gold prills on the inside of all of my flowers. And then the doily piece is also from Heartfelt Creations. It came with a little circle. And I just stamped, Mom, I love you. And that I used the Lawn Fawn, um, the Lawn Fawn set that has the owl and the foxes. Again, I will leave links to everything I, I used on all of these cards if anyone wants to replicate them. And I will make a separate voiceover after I'm done filming these to tell you guys if I have them still available in my shop as of when I post it, which will be at the end of May. I thought that turned out very cute and pastel. I think this would be a beautiful Mother's Day card, I mean, um, wedding card. So yes, that is the first card I made. The next cards are a little bit similar just because I use the same products. Um, again, this is Heartfelt Creations. They're my favorite company when it comes to Mother's Day because Mothers love flowers and butterflies, so, um, yes, this is from the Birds and Bloom set. Again, I will leave all the links down below. This is from their, um, what is this called? Their Orchid collection. So they had a little bird that I added there. And then the watering can, I'm not very sure, but I know it's Heartfelt Creations, and I will link below. And then... The shape die is from, I believe, Tattered Lace, and then Stampin' Up is the stamp. I just white heat embossed all of the flowers. Then I made a cluster onto the watering can and then just sort of spread them out. This is the branch in the back that I did snip so that you were able to see more of it. And then I colored the uh, can with Copics and the bird, I think I just used some ink daubing with some blue ink. So yes, that is how that card came out. Very pretty. And then for the next Mother's Day card, I'm not sure if I'll have it. This card was made using several products. I used Stampin' Up! for the shoe and the bigger bow tie and also the watch it came in one stampin up set and then the hat the glasses and the smaller bow tie and also this all brown mustache there was cut from elizabeth craft dies and then the sentiment was um a stamp block that i found at michael's and then the tie and also the mustache in the right hand bottom corner was made with were made using pattern papers um, the pattern papers I used were Echo Park and then uh, the stickers the outline stickers were from crazy creations so and then I just added a button onto the hat go ahead and zoom in it's just some paper I got from Michaels and has like little mustaches and beards so I thought it was really perfect for this card and then all of them has that sort of like gingham plaidish pattern paper I really like all the contrasting papers that I found um, so I did a variation so I only had seven of these ties and I wanted to make ten cards so what I did was for three of them I did a coffee card um, because I know dad's like um, to go 
and drink coffee and so I tried to make it look sort of like a Starbucks cup with like the circle that's green and I did a green watch to match so pretty much the same things besides the coffee cup I put a little bean onto the sentiment and I did pop the sentiment up in this um, coffee cup the lid and the little I don't know what it's called the cuff and also the circle is all popped up and then again I just used different pattern papers and then the same Stampin' Up! stamp set for the shoe, the bow tie, and the watch. So I thought that was a cute Father's Day card. Oops, I'm sorry. And then this card is an all die cut card. The trees were cut with memory box, the RV is cottage cuts, and the squirrel is cottage cuts, and the fire is Sherry Lynn designs. And then the sentiment is from Altenu. It says, Dear Dad, it's little memories that will last a lifetime. I thought that was really cute for dads that like to go camping. And so pretty simple card, all die cut, very clean. And the RV has a lot of detail. And the squirrel is just adorable. Okay, and then I wanted to do another camping card. So this one has a little bit more detail in it. Um, and so the backpack, the tent, the sleeping bag, the lantern, the flashlight, and the sun, also the binoculars were cut with cottage cuts. And then again, the same trees from Memory Box. This little post is from Sherry Lynn. And then the Happy Father's Day is a Lawn Fawn stamp set. And then I hand cut the brown hills. And then again, the same sentiment from Altenu. And this one has a cute paper at the bottom because it looks sort of like bears and like fire. So it would be, it's perfect for camping. And yeah, so that card is very detailed and pretty. Okay, and for the month of May, I did make a few wedding cards um, because I got a custom order request from a wedding planner that lives near me. And so she wanted a variety of whimsical and a few elegant ones. So I'm going to show you a few that I made. Um, just a disclosure, I'm not showing every single card that I made for the month of May just because I make so many. It is my job and some of them go quicker than others. So some of them I don't even have time to film. Um, but yeah, I'm not showing you all of them, but I will show you some of my favorite wedding cards that I made. So this card was made pretty much using all Lawn Fawn products. Um, this Lovebird set, uh, sentiment was from Pink and Main. Um, I actually pulled out the products that I used for this card. For all the stamping, uh, besides obviously the black ink, I used Memento because I did color everything with Copics. Um, for the pink uh, text, I used the Pearlescent Orchid Brilliance Dewdrop from Memento. These are really pretty. It's actually the first time I used this particular dewdrop um, and it has a really pretty shimmer and the camera is unfortunately not picking it up. But here is sort of a zoom, a zoom in on the card. Ox die. But yeah, that's everything I used for this card. Very cute, whimsical wedding card. Oh, and also for the cake, I put some pink Nouveau drops. I'm not sure what the color is called, I do apologize. But I also did put them in the flowers in the background and also in her hair, the bird's hair. Okay, and so for the next two cards, I wanted to do some elegant ones. And so this one is pretty, yeah, this one is all die cut. And so the arch in the back is from Tattered Lace. And then I just did a tool bow at the top thought that was really cute and then the couple in the center is from I believe cottage cuts and then I did a same like a tulle veil and then I put some pearls on our dress just to dress it up a little because it was a lot of white going on and I wanted to break it up a little bit and then also if you can see there's flowers uh, next to the couple so it's really cute and then I backed the arch with some silver mirror paper and then to tie that in I did some silver doves and on the bottom 
And then I did a Just Married on the flap. And the Just Married is from, um, I think it's Cottage Cuts. And then the Doves are Memory Box. So that's that card. It came together pretty quick, but that arch is very intricate and it does have to go through the die cut machine a few times in order to get that perfect cut. It's very, very dainty and ornate. So, all right. And then I did another elegant one, which is this one. Oops. And this one is probably my favorite. Just because I love the little hints of pink. Pink is my favorite color, but it's not very overwhelming like the the Lawn Fawn card was. And this is more of a dark pink, which I think is really pretty. And then I tied some green in. Because for me, wedding cards are kind of difficult because you don't want to overwhelm the card with white. So I feel like this is a really good balance. And the papers are just beautiful. It has like sort of a champagne foil to it. And then the top is just some brown sort of ornate pattern paper. Okay, and so the arch was made with cottage cuts. Same with the vines and the flowers are from Elizabeth Crafts and the bushes at the bottom are Elizabeth Crafts. And then the couple in the back is Tattered Lace and then the Happily Ever After is Sue Wilson Creative Expressions. And so that is that card. Go ahead and zoom in. All the flowers have little pearls. I think wedding lends itself more to pearls, in my opinion, um, than diamonds or rhinestones. I think it has a nice, elegant touch. All right, and so those are the three wedding cards I made. Again, I made some more. I might show. Okay, I decided to show one more wedding card. And this is sort of another whimsical one. The cake and the couple in the center are a pink and main set. Also the here's to your happy ever after is from the same set. Um, the gazebo is a cottage cuts and the flowers above it, I'm not sure where it's from. It was a Chinese dye, but I just wanted to put some white flowers on the gazebo. Um, and then I cut the gazebo in craft because I didn't want to do white because I thought that would maybe be too much white so I think the craft turned out kind of cute and then I just added some memory box doves onto the sentiment and in the right corner so this one's pretty simple but very very cute okay and then I wanted to show you how these boxes look flat so that's how they look flat and that's how I package them they're in like a cellophane bag um, and they come with an envelope. So I wanted to show you a few more Father's Day that I made because I didn't really, sh I didn't really show a lot of them when I was making these cards. So um, I'm gonna show you the ones that I've already started selling. So by the time I post this, some of them might be already gone, but I will put in the corner of this video how many I have left in case anyone is interested. Father's Day is going quickly, so. Um, these might not still be available but I wanted to show a few just because Father's Day is coming and I made I think over 20 designs I'm only going to show you I think five or so um, and these are the ones that are currently selling I do have a few more that I like a little bit better but um, you know this video can't go for too long this one I made using art impressions that little guy with the leaf blower and then the tree in the back is, I believe, Echo Park. And then the fence is Sizzix, the grass is Lawn Fawn. These like little weeds in the front are Memory Box. And all the leaves um, are Memory Box. Besides, you know, the tree I think is Echo Park. Okay, and then I colored him with my Zig Clean Color markers and just fussy cut him. And so there's a lot of detail in this card. I had to put a lot of leaves in. That little leaf is coming right out of his little leaf blower. 
and I really like the colors of this card. I made a few with the Art Impressions characters. They're really funny and quite popular during this time. And then the sentiment reads, to the backyard boss, you're my hero. And this dies from China, so I don't know where that is from, like the original company. And then I just scattered some more leaves onto the sentiment to tie everything in. And it's on an orange plaid and brown patterned card base. So that is that card. And then you just pull the flaps down. And this is my frog card. I have sold quite a few of these already. But this is all the new Lawn Fawn frog release. And then the grass in the back is just memory box. Um, and then the waves and the sand hills um, was another die from China. So, but yeah, that's super cute. I colored all the frogs with my Zig colored markers and then just die cut all of them. And then using that same Chinese die for the front flap, I wrote, have a totally awesome Father's Day, and there's a little tiny fly there. So this one's quite detailed in the coloring. It did take a while to hand color and die cut every piece. You can see there's like little bows, there's a little fly. All those um, cattails only had two, um, what is the word, two dies in there, so I had to cut a bunch of times, because I did 10 of these, and tails. And yeah, that is that card, super cute. Really proud of how this one came out. Okay. Okay, and um, so this is the next card that I made. It is a sailboat card, quite a different style. It's all die cut. Um, and so there's a lighthouse in the back and then a bunch of boats and then these really pretty waves. I really like the color of these and how it kind of coordinates with the paper in a way. I don't know. Um, but it is sort of monotone and um, I don't know what the word is when all the colors are sort of similar. But the wheel and the anchor is from a company I'm not sure of. I do apologize. The boats are from Memory Box. The waves are from China, so I don't know the company. And then the lighthouse is from Cottage Cuts. And then this beautiful sentiment is from Rubbernecker. A father's love is a guiding force that helps to keep our lives on course. I thought that fit very well with the lighthouse. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. So it's a very tone on tone card, but it is very beautiful and a clean card and perfect for all the dads that like to go sailing. And then the pattern paper on the bottom is maps. So I thought that sort of tied in well with the sailing uh, theme. Okay, and that is that card. You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm a girly person. So these like brown and green tones are not my favorite, but I do like how this one turned out. Um, so the moose, I believe, are from Sherry Lynn, the sign is from Sherry Lynn, and the mountains in the back are cottage cuts, the house is cottage cuts, and the trees are cottage cuts, and then I just handed the grass with my scissors, and then the number one dad was a stamp I got from Michaels. And so, here's the card, I really like how clean it is, I have sold a few of these, they're perfect for... Um, maybe a dad that likes to go hiking or hunting, has a cabin in the woods somewhere. And then the Happy Father's Day is from a Lawn Fawn set, and I just uh, stamped that onto the sign. And the house obviously has a lot of detail, it took me the longest to do this. But I think it turned out really, really cute. So that is that card. And this card um, doesn't necessarily have to be Father's Day because it says sure do love you. It could be friendship or um, 
thinking of you. I put it as Father's Day for now because it does definitely work for Father's Day for all those beach dads. This one's really um, one of my favorites just because I'm from Florida and I love the like the more coastal look. And so the grass is from Memory Box. The pelicans are cottage cuts. These birds are Gina Marie, I think. I'm not totally sure on that. The net is, I think, Rubbernecker, but I'm not totally sure. The fish are, mem are Gina Marie. And this little stand is cottage cuts. The sentiment circle is Gina Marie. And yeah, that one turned out really cute and clean. This one's definitely one of my favorites. And you can see there's like little starfish in the back of the net, which gives it a lot of detail. There's a lot of hidden detail. The paddles have two tones to them. And then the pelicans are obviously the star in my opinion. I think they're really cute. And then they're just behind some seagrass. And then again, I hand cut the hills and the waves in the back, or my mom did.